back. We have Angela from the News You here with us for our weekly segment, Untamed Tuesday, and she's brought in a Homer pigeon? Yes, a racing Homer pigeon, and kind of a funny story. We, we brought her in a couple months ago saying he, or she was a he, we called her Paulo, um, because with pigeons it's kind of difficult to tell. They look very similar, the males and females, so you have to look for behavior. And we noticed that this bird started to do very male-like behaviors. There's there's lots of singing and cooing that the Dancing. males do. Yep, and then they dance. They do this little half circle, like they do a half circle, then they turn around and go back the other way, mm -hmm. back and forth. And this bird was doing that. So we thought, okay, well, Paloma, we're going to have to start calling you Paulo because obviously, if you're doing this dance, surely you must be a boy. However, just this weekend, we got an egg, which means, okay, I guess Paulo is Paloma after all. She wanted us to know. For sure. So. So does this egg is is it going to hatch? Is it viable? I it, mean, it isn't. She doesn't have a boyfriend at the zoo. She's in an enclosure by herself, so the egg isn't fertilized, so it won't hatch. Um, some female birds do lay eggs in captivity, even if they're not fertilized. It's just one of those individual things. They don't all do it, but some of them do. So when they do, that's the definite way that you know, you know, we've got a female here. We don't do the blood test unless it's absolutely necessary because it can be very expensive. So. You know, this was a, a surefire way to know for sure that we've got Paloma on yep. our hands. There yep. it is. Mm -hmm. So, so can the you guys have tots, zoo tots, right? Yes. Can, this, the, can the toddlers come and yeah, learn about the they, egg? They do. We zoo tots is for kids ages 18 to 42 months with their parents, of mm -hmm. course. We've had a great time with it so far. We've got three programs this Saturday that people can sign up for, and the kids get to meet these live animals up close and personal. I mean, they get to touch them. They get to see them up close. Mm -hmm. They learn how to interact with them and how to appreciate them. So it's really good for these kids at such a young age. It's a great way to introduce them to wildlife. Um, and the parents have had a great time with it too. We, you know, we meet the animals, we read a story, we play music for the kids to get up and dance, so get a little activity in them, and we take tours of the zoo too. So it's a lot of fun. That sounds like fun. And then they get something special with the egg, right? Exactly, yep. They get to learn all about these animals. And, and this week's topic is zoo music. So we're talking about the noises that animals make. So it's definitely going to be a good time. All right. Thank you, Angela. We'll be right back. <laughs> 